Welcome back guys, GTS Gary. Today we're going to look at the pan and we're going to look specifically at an oil change and a filter change on the pan. So I'm not going to waffle, we're just going to crack on with it. Now the video is aimed at those that have never done it before and it's aimed at those that would like to start doing their own servicing at home rather than going to the garage. The oil change is a very simple uh, thing to do. It's not difficult, by any stretch of your imagination. And sometimes all you need to do is watch it on video to gain the confidence and do it yourself. So this hopefully will be that video. Okay, before we start, before you start this task, you are gonna to need to make sure that you have a few tools prior to starting, because what you don't wanna do is get halfway through it and then realize that you don't have the tool continue to continue and then potentially be without a bike until you can work out a way of getting that tool. So to avoid that, what you will need for this is a five mil Allen, uh, Allen key, and that is to remove the lower fairing that's gonna give you access to both the filter and to the drain plug. You are going to need a 17 mil socket or a 17 mil spanner that is gonna allow you to undo that uh, drain plug. And you are going to need a method of removing the filter. So first of all, we're gonna start with five mil Allen and we're just gonna take out the five bolts that hold this and we're gonna put them in that, in that piece of cardboard. Each of the Allen bolts is just slightly longer or slightly shorter than one another. So you do need to know where they come from. So working back to front, I then put the, the screw in back to front. Third one in. I'm going to use something like this for the pop underneath. And that makes your six retaining. Okay, so we're going to take a uh, 17 mil socket and we're going to crack that open. So I think that's, yeah, that's it. There you go. Okay, with the oil drain, we're just going to leave that now for about 15 minutes to make sure all the oil's out of there. We may even take it off the set and stand and lean it to one side to make sure. Um, but we're going to leave that for a while. Once that's done, we're then going to take off the filler. Okay, we're now going to put the drain screw back in for a while because I want to take it off the center stand, put it on the side stand and take the oil filter out. Unfortunately enough, the oil filter is just by the side, uh, the centre stand, which makes catching all the oil that drips from it incredibly difficult. It is a bad design. So now just quickly put that back in. That'll save us dripping over the driveway while we do the next part. Get that off and get the last of the engine oil out, and then I think there you go. There's the last of the oil. Okay, so with the, with the bike on the side, it's released obviously more oil. So we're just going to capture the rest of that, and then we're going to put the drain plug back in, and we're going to take the filter out. So for this one, I'm going to use this tool. Now, 
it's normally quite good. I don't know how it's going to be with this one, all the space that I've got. But let's hope I can get it in there. And I think it is going to be a hope. Oh, that was slow and painful. Okay. But that's the oil filter. There you go. I might got it out with that, but I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I'd buy the proper tool just because that was a pain. Right. Okay, guys, the stuff that I'm using for this one is the Guardian Motorcycle 10 Watt 40 Celtic Sigmatic JSO. So that is the correct one. That is the correct oil that I'll be using for this one. And I've got four litres of it, and I think it takes 3.9 litres um, when you're changing the filter as well. And I'm going to be using the filtro. So that seems to have taken all of them out. So what we're going to do now is take the wrapper off the new one. I'm just going to rub some oil around there. And I am using the old oil. And I know people are going to say, oh, don't do that. Some people fill this up. Some people fill this up. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to. Um, because she's at such a funny angle. Okay, the filter's on and the filter torque wrench is 26 newton meters. And I've just done the bolt up to 29 newton meters. Okay, that's clean. Let's fill her up. And we're just gonna remove the press stud here. So we should we have to take that one out. And I, as I said, always do that, so I shall put that into the second one to keep it safe. We pull up the pull away, and that, you can see, that kind of fits under this part here. So you push in, pull forward, and then push down. So on the same side as the fill, you then come down and you look between the uh, the exhaust on the lower trim okay so basically she's I put on a little bit more of a flat um, because I couldn't see quite where the level was going I was wondering if it's not the fact that she's going up or down it's the fact the leaning from side to side gives you a, a kind of a false indication so I put her on a more level piece of ground um, and she's now about halfway between the two the, mi the minimum and the maximum so I'm going to run her for a couple of minutes turn her off and then have a look at the level again and make sure she's not, you know, so that she's going to fill up the oil filter and then I can see how much more I need to top her up after I've run her for a couple of minutes. Does that make sense? That probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but hopefully it does. I'm running her to see if the level drops. If the level drops, I'll top her back up. Now that makes far more sense, doesn't it? Okay, the last job on the list is just to clean so we took the bolts out, so the next stop is before we put them back in the bike, we're going to clean them off and put a little bit of copper slip on each one of them.
I'm going to put um, an access database. Um, I'm going to provide an access database. Now I downloaded this probably about four or five months ago off of a uh, Facebook page. So I don't know. You probably you may have it. You may not have it. But I uh, I find it really useful. So what it is, it's an access database. It's pre-populated with a lot of fields to do with servicing a motorbike. So it's got brake discs in there. It's got oil changes in there. It's got filter changes in there. It's got brake oil or brake fluid, clutch fluid changes. So basically what you can do is you everything you do to the bike, you can track using drop down menus. So I'm going to put that into the Google Drive um, and I'm going to share it along with this video. So if you want a copy, just follow the link below, download yourself a copy and, and have a look. I use it for everything on the bike. So it's quite nice when I when I finally sell, when I finally sell the bike, if I ever sell the bike, I will give a copy of this database to the new owner and then they will see every nut and bolt that I've actually taken off of the bike. Um, so that's what I use and I thought it may be useful for others so I've included it in this video. You take it easy and you ride safe and I shall speak to you very soon with regards more working on the pan so there'll be other things I'll be doing. Take care, bye bye.